It turns out the terrorists who struck the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan last week had cell phones on them. And those phones are one of the reasons the United States is making the remarkable charge that Pakistan was directly involved in both that attack and another in which more than 70 American soldiers were wounded. Pakistan is supposed to be an ally in the war on terror, an ally that gets about $2 billion a year from the United States. The embassy attack was the work of the Haqqani Network, a terrorist group tied to the Taliban. David Martin has been speaking with his intelligence sources and fills in the details. The insurgents who attacked the U.S. Embassy in Kabul last week were killed, but their cell phones left a trail. They had been used to call Pakistani intelligence operatives before and during the assault. That's what lies behind the charges made by Admiral Mike Mullen, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, that the Haqqani network is a veritable arm of Pakistani intelligence. This was the attack on the U.S. Embassy and NATO's Afghan headquarters that resulted in a 22-hour firefight, with American troops pinned down on rooftops. Sixteen people were killed, no Americans, but the buildings in the embassy compound were damaged. According to U.S. officials, the Haqqani network consists of several thousand fighters and operates with impunity from safe havens inside Pakistan conducting cross-border raids into Afghanistan and up into Kabul. The Pakistani spy agency uses the Haqqanis to sow violence, so Afghanistan cannot emerge as a strong and stable country allied with Pakistan's arch enemy, India. Two days before the attack on the U.S. Embassy, a large truck bomb went off at an American combat outpost, wounding 77 U.S. soldiers. Two days before that, U.S. intelligence intercepted communications that the Haqqani network was sending a large truck filled with explosives into Afghanistan. General John Allen, the commander in Afghanistan, called General Parvez Kiani, the commander of Pakistan's army and former head of Pakistani intelligence. Allen asked Kiani to head off the attack. According to U.S. officials, Kiani promised to make a call. But the truck continued into Afghanistan and exploded on the anniversary of 9-11. Those are only the latest in a long stream of high-profile attacks by the Haqqani network, which U.S. officials say is protected and financed by Pakistani intelligence. Today, General Kiani issued a statement denying any collusion with the Haqqani network and accusing the U.S. of playing a blame game. David, thank you.